So hello everyone, um, I'm Yaka, with me are Curly Jefferson, Toka, and we are running Sands of Time, uh, any percent NMG. I mean we, you, you're running. You. We. We're here to encourage you to fail. <laughs> Thanks. Kids. So uh, yeah, uh, incentive was met, so we are doing a community dub. <laughs> so uh, I guess we can just start. Uh, please. Alright, let's go. Oh, when does the timer start? Well. Oh, once you say it, hit the button. I don't know. Three, two, one. Just go. go. Yeah, go. Stop. Cool. <laughs> I got you. Don't worry. Do you think I felt regrets oh. as I gazed upon the destruction we had brought? Or at least humility at the speed with which a war can be transformed from a good one into a hell? <laughs> if you think so, you're mistaken. Are you okay? From that no. moment, I thought of one thing only. The honor and glory I would bring my father by fighting like a warrior in my first battle. So, uh, <laughs> we're gonna do a small trick over here to speed up. Uh, and since we're doing an NMG category, uh, we should probably talk a bit about movement. Uh, it's very important in this game. Uh, generally speaking, uh, we want to roll when we go upstairs or like uphill. We want to war run uh, like horizontally as often as possible. Uh, nice brain fart. There. Like you know, if, <laughs> if the level allows for it, of course. Yes. War run is to be preferred. And Many we can also, uh, like Prince, after a bit of time, after walking, he reaches like maximum speed, which I believe it's quicker than rolling. From the moment or my sword tasted blood. Same, I don't know. Uh, yeah. This would it not be style me. <laughs> Doesn't matter, it's not that important. Yeah. Not by so, before we get too into that, can we talk about being the first what's to find the Maharaja's about this game? Like, it doesn't sound the same to me. Yeah. This prince is kind of. That's kind of weird. What's going on with that? It's in the name, it's Community Dub. <laughs> we voiced the, the voice of this place. But who, who was the prince? Like, was it you, Curly? Like, who? Uh, it wasn't it, me. It's so hard to tell, right? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like uh, someone I know, but I can't put my finger on it. So, first of all, I'm sorry because I'm voicing one of the main characters. Uh, I'm not a professional voice actor. I never even uh, imagined Unlike I the would two others of us, we are. Of course. It's our job. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> but yeah, um, we tried our best. Um, it, it was supposed to be a fun little project that actually was just pain towards got, the end. Got, <laughs> got out of hand a bit, maybe. <laughs> Slightly. With yeah. Oh, thank you, Hubert. Somehow ended up uh, replacing every major line of the game. Yeah. O originally, the, the plan, and that's what we did, was to just replace the lines you hear in, this, in the speed run. And we did that for the Prince of Persia Community Marathon last uh, October, November-ish, around that time. And afterwards, we thought, uh, well, that's a great ESA incentive, actually. Let's do a full dub. Let's ju ju just up everything. Because that was so fun. Do Shall again. I continue my story from here? The next time we are interrupted. Yes, please. <laughs> Thanks. Here we are. <laughs> yeah, so, so. Of, of, sorry. Of course, we'll talk a lot about the run itself, but for some uh, big cutscenes, we will just shut up and listen to the dub. Uh, after all, people paid. And there to it lay, just out of reach. The dagger of time. There was a treasure I could carry with pride as a trophy of our victory. If I could only get there. So we are actually approaching very famous skip in the game. We do it in like every category. Uh, we basically skip wall room, uh, which is probably something like a practice room, like where you get to know mechanics of like jumping and like walking on yeah. the ledge and so yeah. on. Yeah, jumping off pillars, all of that. Yeah. But the thing is, you're supposed to like get back to this point where we are currently, and up there, there's like a bit of space where we actually can get if I do this properly. Uh, I'm so sorry Eraser, I might take a bit of tries, but... <laughs> no, that's fine. So yeah, um, oh despite goodness. how this trick looks, this is actually one of the hardest tricks in the early part of the game. And it can easily kill your run. Um, you know, it's only a few minutes in. All right, yes, go. looks good. Don't clap yet, it's... No, Jack clap, that was die. good. Jack will die. <laughs> <laughs> On this way back, he will die. Yeah, yeah, anyway, uh, there is a dagger in front of us. Yeah. But Just we're not going to pick it. Oh. Yeah. Why would I pick it? So I walked over a loading trigger, and game is like, yeah, Prince is there. He has the dagger. Well, 
I don't game, but yeah, we will spawn with it. Right, because we approached the dagger kind of backwards, we were supposed to wrap around and we hit the trigger that you're only supposed to hit after you get the dagger. So the game's like, like there's no way he got here without the dagger. <laughs> Jokes on you. <laughs> <laughs> and here we are with our first fight. Um, it's the fight is very intense, uh, very hard. Everything is frame perfect. Or is it? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do the same combo for those. X Files music starts playing. <laughs> <laughs> Right, same combo. So basically, I just walt over them, secondary and dagger input. Each time I struck them down, they rose to fight again. I soon realized that only by taking into my own dagger the sands that possessed them could I liberate them from their monstrous living death. So here I'll do a torpedo. Uh, it's like uh, you run towards the wall and Prince, it's a secondary twice. What? what? What was that? Who was that? That's, I don't see any other character right now. Mysterious, isn't it? Interesting. Yeah. You're talking about the torpedo, sorry. Somebody interrupted you there. It, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah. It's just a technique that we will use uh, throughout the run. Yeah. Something special. And after this fight, Toka will explain something that you can do in other categories to speed up this area a bit. But first, we, so the, the safe is scripted, we cannot avoid it, so we have to watch this cutscene, sadly. Uh, in NMG, anyway. Who's this girl? I think Princess from India. <laughs> Never seen could, her. Could be anybody. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Ten. What, what is he doing? I don't know. Whoa. Oh! Oh! Should have done that, that looked way faster. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, yeah, so that's um, that's clipping. You can use enemies to clip. Um, it's you not allowed in mad. no major glitches, unsurprisingly. You look in your eyes. But we wanted to, you think my story or the game impossible. rather wanted to give you a Perhaps short glimpse into one of the many possible futures by horrors um, such as we could have lived. lived through. But I assure you, uh, every word the next is skip true. is actually, like, it's very small time save, but it's very cool looking. If I can do it, with singing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need to use this mouse. I didn't oh. use it before. I didn't test the mouse sensitivity, but yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Classic. It's all going wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. Anyway, that that's like uh, it doesn't save much time, but it's like Call very cool to see what we can do with the movement alone. Because it's, it's really very easy her? to understand, I guess. Or had my yeah. senses given way under the burden oh, of horrors momentum. too great to bear and conjured up a phantom. Either way, there. I could not rest you. until I had found her again. I may fail a thing or two. <laughs> Normally, I have only like three viewers, you know, it's a bit different. <laughs> <stuff>. <laughs> okay. you're, doing, you're doing great. Yeah, this is, this is good. Yeah. So, anyway, what you saw in the first room, and also here, because um, the movement in this game is very versatile. There's a whole lot of things you can do, which also means that there's a whole lot of things you can use it, f um, like in terms of exploits, which are not glitches, just unintended means to get from point A to point B. And we, we'll see that a whole lot in this run. Um, and maybe the devs didn't think about that when creating this game, or they didn't care, because a lot of these things a casual player would never think about. So. Like whatever, but uh, I mean we are grateful for it. And we are approaching one. Hello. Oh yeah, the, the major good cut major story cuts. Let's go. Give me the dagger. Who are you? I am Farah, the daughter of the Maharaja from whom you stole it. This is your doing. I saw my father turn to sand. And we will share his fate. If you do not give me the dagger to undo what you have done! Your traitorous vizier used the same words. From now on, I trust no one but myself. Run! Go back to the reception hall. Wait for me there. 
Go. Um. You know what the performance wasn't this? No one gonna talk about that? No. <laughs> that didn't sound like Farah how I remembered Farah. Anyway, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, here we are gonna use a uh, torpedo to actually skip the uh, the very like the third floor, which we are on right now. Yeah, like the upper. Floor. Yeah, the upper floor yeah. by doing like, jumping like that. Yeah, that's the tiniest bit of collision on this door frame where you can land on. And the reason we could do that is because when we do a torpedo attack, our initial height is actually lower than we jump, so we can actually survive that. And that I didn't do by accident, actually. Uh, it's so that we load the area, because we skipped like a like, few triggers. You should say these things before. Like, if you die, you should be saying beforehand, I will die next. Okay. Gen it's general advice. Oh. Just trying that? to help you. <laughs> You're not helping. Uh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh no 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 it will take both of us to do it. <laughs> I'll wizard the axis for you. The man with normal in charge of his got. Never mind. Vive la France. <laughs> Why the platform? Don't to the bottom. Then Keep you going. Two cranks to bring them back up. I must be actually careful with this puzzle because he didn't do, do all the lines. <laughs> Can I point you that out? To pick them up how, long, how long did he have? Until you got he had like four. plenty. Plenty. Then and bring them up to the top together. Thanks, Razor. One more. Some more. Make sure you pick them up in the right order. Thank hey! <laughs> I'll try. What's Thanks. It? You got the oh, first Axel, now pick up the other three. So helpful, thank you. <laughs> it's not like Remember, pay attention <laughs> to the groove. I love this live performance. For everyone viewing at home, the, the voice actor Watson, is in the audience crank, shouting the lines. The platform, yeah, it's great. The one no, I'm, I'm loving it. it. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the instructions. I didn't do this puzzle like a billion of times, <laughs> but okay. Yeah. Actually, five of the six Let's people who cont uh, contributed to this dub are on site. So three of us and two are in the audience, and the sixth person is in, like, the UK. Sorry, buddy. Uh, <laughs> Condolences. Yeah, so I guess we can... Uh, there are, is anything donation reader wants to say? Now is a good time for me. Just, I guess, uh, one more. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, that, no, there, uh, there is one line. more. Please, there's one more donation at least. So. <laughs> <laughs> there, there is. Um, so uh, we have uh, twenty dollars from Rotsuda, who says more speed, and uh, who has put that uh, donation towards our next incentive. <laughs> no, bring them up to the top and line them up. That's four donations, well, okay. <laughs> crazy. Oh yeah. Uh, that's that's to spare the traitor and paint the town red out of Valentine's Day special happening tomorrow afternoon. <laughs> and I mean, I mean, you guys all donated for this uh, amazing piece of art. Uh, and we have ten dollars from number nine saying, "Let's get that 10k." And uh, we actually are only uh, about three hundred fifty dollars away from 10k. So there is one last step. Do you see what platform? It's time for the. Throw your lever Crowning and I will end to this performance. <laughs> <laughs> we did it! Serve us Argus demons right! Oh by God, they will rule the day! They ever dare attack the palace of Azad! Not yet. Grand finale. This is it. <laughs> Is you're okay, buddy? <laughs> that was fantastic. <laughs> Round of applause.
Okay, so so what's coming up, Yaka? A big skip. It's a big skip that is quite tough to do consistently. I'll attempt it, I think, like once or twice. Uh, hopefully just works. <laughs> if it doesn't, we'll do uh, So we call this skip Big Palm Tree, but there's also like a smaller one. Uh, we obviously want to get the Big Palm Tree. Also here, I'll go towards yeah. like next to the wall to skip a cutscene yeah just walk around it like, yeah. whatever come on first try first try the, this uh, is very hard to line up accurately he will just approach the wall however he wants to ah uh, come on so, one more? okay yeah let's do one more yeah. there's really not much come on you uh, uh, yeah i'll just go with smaller country yeah it's a pretty so the difficulty lies within having to do it quickly because of the enemies. If you, if you take all your time, um, like if you take all the time in the world to set this up, it will work. It'll just, first of all, not save time, and second of all, the enemies will um, block you at some point and try to attack you, right? So the difficulty really comes from doing this speedily. I would say at least. Also the reason the traps didn't activate is because I kind of skipped the loading trigger for the traps. If you like jump a bit further. Anyway, I'll take a sand cloud here for safety reasons. Why is there a hole in the wall? Did you see that? We should explore the couple of mm. <laughs> I've never seen that hole before in my life. <laughs> yeah, so, sorry, sk skips of this kind where like at the beginning of the room where you um, just walk around a trigger or at the beginning of Pellet's defense where you do a wall jump, jump over a cutscene. Those are incredibly common in this category and there's no way we can point them all out, really. Um, just be rest assured whenever Yaka does something which looks like kind of weird, the answer 99% of the cases is he did it to skip a cutscene and or a trigger. So. Or fail. Or not fail. <laughs> Where's your confidence, buddy? You're the world record holder. That's the best in this room. Like. So uh, we are approaching uh, that fight. Um, there's a funny thing coming. Uh, normally on ledges, you can like just walk like left, right, kind of like you're in specific state. But I'll try to make it so that. Uh, wait, 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 I'll rewind, I'll rewind. Oh, that's important. Yeah, that's actually important. Oh, it actually. Look, it's funny. Uh -huh. And now I can just... Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Made that look so easy. Well, technically, because it is, but... Yeah. Uh, let's pretend it's hard. <laughs> Think... <laughs> Prince, you're okay there? <laughs> Cut his head off. Huh. Sword is out. Farah, get back. <laughs> Okay, I will. I'll, I'll protect you. <laughs> <laughs> my prince. <laughs> oh, is that my dad? So your father became a sand monster. You have to kill him. So uh, one thing to point out in this fight is that the blue enemies, the one that I'm returning right now, is actually... Um, we can do the same combo we did in the, like, the fight at the start. We actually either have to knock them down with power attack. Uh, this attack is basically we aim towards the enemy, we do two steps towards that enemy, the and then we when I had uh, press sand, secondary. The dagger gained the power to stop and time. press attack. Not for, not for the yeah, end, nice yeah. Track. There's that another thing? trick. Yeah. We can actually like slow more time and jump power energy. So, in this game, unlike in Warrior Within and Two Thrones, slowing down time actually like, slow times for enemies and for Prince, unlike in the other two games of Trilogy where the slow mo slows times for like enemies but not for you, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, uh, in the other games, it's a kind of a puzzle element where if you don't slow down time, you will not catch this door in time or whatever. Yeah. But here, the advantage lies within combat that the enemies don't do their usual. In this case, blocking, for example, and they're vulnerable to any of your combat. Alright, they are actually being helpful. Alright. Yep. Yeah. So, 
<laughs> Sorry. Thank you. Very good fight. Very good yeah. dad fight. Went pretty well. I'm sorry. Why? I know what it is to lose a father. That was not my father. <laughs> what are you doing? Stop! <laughs> She's so upset, man. Uh, weird dream. <laughs> <laughs> Quite the fever dream, isn't it? <laughs> Would you explain a bit? Curly, please. Oh yeah, so uh, those were birth both uh, first-person glitches. I, remember, I haven't run Zipless in a while. <laughs> but yeah, those are both both uh, first-person glitches that are totally not allowed and no major glitches. Wait, One second. Uh, you were worried about me, it's... Not oh, for sorry. fun. It's not Please for fun. It's for speed. speed. What have I done to you? <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. Oh yeah. So I can explain. So hitting Farah here um, will trigger her to die earlier because right now we do want her to die as quickly as possible. Well, technically not as quickly as possible. Excuse me. So <laughs> we're basically trying to open this door quick enough, and as soon as we open the door, we'll trigger a checkpoint. And having Farah die sooner is good because it saves us a little bit of time. <laughs> and we triggered the checkpoint, so we're good. I don't feel so good. <laughs> You're in the spotlight. <laughs> Your time to shine. Yeah. So that's one of the core mechanics of the game, where if you're in a fight with Farah and you um, try to pro progress, um, because she gets uh, left behind and that she's vulnerable to the enemies, she'll lose health gradually. Yes. Um, it is on a timer, which is good for us because we can plan ahead. Um, but in this case, we have to go somewhat fast to make it to the next checkpoint before she dies. And we do that by means of a small skip where, um, where so what Yaka did, he got to the swing pole and he meshed cancel and that was, um, without going into too much detail, um, that allowed him to save some time, not go the whole way around and make it to the checkpoint or the otherwise it's he can't so quiet do it. Out there. It's terrible, but also beautiful. beautiful. Maybe for you. Look. You're a skinny little thing. Oh, thank mm. you. <laughs> Blush. <laughs> so we are approaching warehouse. Uh, it's this area. What is this? Uh, for the we'll first to half, way down to you the basically bottom. just have to do casual part. But the second half is going to be some interesting tricks or rather skips yeah i can't do that stay there i told you to stay there <laughs> i can reach this one i'm doing good i think quite athletic yeah you have a couple precise jumps coming up i'll just wait here then shall i which really separate um, the warehouse from casual play versus uh, the NMG method. So we do a couple of precise jumps. We'll point them out when they come. They're coming up pretty soon. But they skip a lot of the warehouse, which is just pulling a lot of levers. Pulling a lever so Farrah can pull right? another lever. I heard strange pulling a lever. Noises. No permanent damage. Thank you. <laughs> Basically, the, this room has a lot of cutscenes. We want to get rid of them. Yeah, like every time you pull a lever, you know, the this constellation has. changes. I've got it. And Farah pulls a lever, and then you do, but... Um, mm. Rather tedious. Yeah. But now... Your I'll turn now. Yeah. So there's... If I, like, press that lever, uh, yeah, the things will move. Plus, I'll spawn the enemies at the bottom, but we don't want to do that. Uh, so I'll do... Very like, precise. jump here. Yeah, that was good. Just skip that. And there's, like, another cool yeah. jump. Here, if I can make it. Ah, uh, looks fine. I kind of yoloed it, but it should yeah. be. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> great. Yeah. Right, and now, I think. Oh. Why? Why? What? Oh, I would oh. rewind, but it's waste of rewinding. Oh no! Oh, fair. You just spawned there. <laughs> so, uh, I think she just tried to follow us, but. Uh, yeah, she she tries to execute the usual script that happens when Prince is at the bottom, but the. Bridges on the wrong position, right? Because we skipped a lot of stuff, so 
She just falls. Uh, luckily, there's a checkpoint, so she just respawns. Ooh. That's also a little skip there. That actually doesn't look like a skip, because there's supposed to be a bridge there. The collision is kind of there, and um, that's why you have to kind of jump around it. So it looks like it's unnecessary, but... Uh, also, nice. here we got pushed into the cutscene by the door, and because of that reason, we can just, like, run in the cutscene. Yeah. Also, so nice. weird. But it works. Yeah. That's the only time in the game you can do that, I think. Yeah. But well, the only time the run, at least. Oh, we use that. I mean, we do get pushed by the door in s some other area, but for different reasons. Yeah. Ra rather annoying fight coming up. Um, four, uh, yeah, four enemies. Um, they can randomly decide to teleport to Farah. If they do, it can lose you quite a bit of time. So Yaka's just going to try to kill them as fast as possible. Farah can kind of fate them. Um, yeah. Just let him do it. Uh, can you? This is just. Also, uh, like the. Why? Excuse yeah, me, least, sir. At least the Oh. Enemies. Yeah. It's. Anyway, uh, those enemies are rather annoying to deal with because they have huge. Uh, like they're, they're huge and also like the, the hitboxes are big. Yeah, yeah. The hitboxes are big. And their attack range. Yeah. They do down the sweep. Also, we can do the normal combo. I actually have to like use a slow mo. For like retrieve. And how about these birds? Just don't kill them all at the same time. Yeah, those birds are special. Killing those birds um, like reduces significantly the amount of birds you have to fight in this section. Um, problem is, if you kill them all at the same time, the game will just crash like a second later. It's pretty sad. I don't think they again because it wants to execute a script, but the bird is not there anymore. So it's like yeah. I, I don't know how to deal with this. So I five. Yeah, I don't know how many birds there are typically, but now he just has to fight two. Yeah, yeah well, five I, usually. Yeah. Five. Okay. Feels like a lot more than that because they take forever to get down to you. Yeah. yeah true. Look a crack. What? Interesting. So here I'm actually setting up for to avoid hitting a cutscene. Um, there is actually cutscene there. Trust me. <laughs> Not safe. Want to show us to convince us? <laughs> no, or? no, no. Maybe I hit yeah, it by time. accident. Well, I guess you'll you'll have to play the game to see if there's cutscene. Um, I guess. There's nothing special here, or actually, there is like one here diagonal jump that we will take yeah. right here. Yeah. Uh, the game wants us to go like all around, but we can just do that jump. Yeah. The classic Prince of Persia thing that happens in a lot of other pop games as well, where the camera tries to hide an, a possible path from you, and only if you know about it you can, like, execute the jump there, because otherwise, like, casually you wouldn't have any idea at first that you can just go from A to B directly. Like one or two donations, do you think we yeah. have time? Yeah, it's perfect time. Yeah, yeah got uh, up to four donations here. So, um, Grizzbear has hey. has donated $20. Might be a name people recognize. Uh, at least five people here anyway. Uh, who, who writes, greetings from the UK. Have fun, my friends, and great job to everyone who did bits and made this dub, and amazing job to everyone who contributed it being shown off here tonight. It's like two thousand yeah. dollar dub. Yeah. If you have believed the rest of my tale until now, you can't talk so over the yeah. <laughs> I didn't I didn't want to interrupt the great work, but uh, let's keep going. Nips has donated forty dollars uh, with the comments nice sweater curly. <laughs> thanks for the compliment and thanks for the forty dollars. Yet she had proven herself Sepal Food Futura, uh, apologies for the which of your name has donated one hundred dollars. Flesh and blood. And the comment reads: "Thanks for doing what you do. Let's get that tormented souls run going." And that is indeed gone towards the tormented souls alternate outfit, um, which is now about a quarter of the way to its six hundred dollar goal uh, later on this marathon. And finally, uh, we have a donation of twenty five dollars from username Niels. And username Niels writes, I donated for this community dub without knowing what it was. I have no regrets. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks for the extra donations, guys. We are about $161 away from the 10k milestone. So, uh, 
yeah, get your donations in and let's, uh, yeah, hit that, hit that big milestone. I did it. Yeah, proud of you. Uh, another casual, like, platforming. Well, but we will do it slightly quicker, I guess, or yeah. we will try. I mean, it's just like in the last corridor, you oh. do some. Camera. You, you cut some corners to make an early cycle. Like, in a way, you do it casually because you go the intended way. You just do it faster than intended. No. Semi casual. All right, I'll. Oh. Oh, hey. even though Razor is in the room, it works. <laughs> <laughs> that bird likes, really likes to attack you. Yeah. Even more so if a Razor is present. Yeah. I guess I've used my luck. Another jump here. Anyway, don't mind that bird. Uh, she's yeah. just checking out what we're trying to do. Yeah. It's curious. Once you see. Oh, you can turn this other? <laughs> oh. I see, I see, and bye. <laughs> see you, I guess. <laughs> Touristic birds in this area. <laughs> okay, so we are approaching a very interesting area. The big one. Yeah. The bath, which for some reason they can crash. No, well, not for some reason. It's because Para. Um, we'll get to that. Yeah, we'll get to that. Um, basically, we are gonna skip fighting enemies. Plus, we'll do like we'll skip one area that we would technically have to go to before, and also. F oh, okay, she's following. That's yeah. great. Good of you. Thanks. Welcome. <laughs> and because we like skip so much, Far but Farrah is still in this room. It's um, she just like game hours for us or in some cases even crashes the game so we'll just pray that that won't happen nice camera all right nice. so, yeah. so this was unintended this is actually um, a very precise trick um, and even more difficult with the enemies around because as you s as you saw uh, the enemies can screw you up um, by messing up the camera or getting in your way but this, this was a perfect example here. Um, there's one core mechanic of this game where the prince gets locked from locked out from wall running when he's in the water. So he gets water locked, basically. Um, however, on these stairs, you can um, you can start the war run, although you are um, like you're a bit in the water, but not enough to be water locked. Still, you're close enough. Sorry, close enough to the wall to for the game to say, okay, you're allowed to war on here. Um, don't ask me how many frames it is, but it's very, like positionally, it's very precise. Okay. So Farah is actually following us, below us. Um, she needs to be in specific position. We don't know exactly what the position is, but now we just pray if we will game over or not. Hopefully not. And... Looks good? Yes. Yes, all right, good. Very good. Good applause, yeah, that deserves applause. I think. Thank you, Farah. You're welcome. <laughs> Feels so random. <laughs> yeah, so the, the big thing about the bath area is that it's a big puzzle where you go back and forth with, between rooms. But by doing this skip here and uh, Farah behaving, we can get to the sword upgrade early, which is what you need to. Sorry. What you need to, uh, to, to oh. leave the... What's going on with camera? <laughs> Interesting camera. Anyway, uh, that's, so that's the, the, like the main objective of this area. And by doing this uh, water lock, preventing war run, you get to the end right from the start. It saves three minutes, four, I don't know, a lot. It saves so much, nobody ever, ever bothered to time it. Really. It's quicker, that's all we care. Yeah. So now we need Farah to follow. Oh, actually, she's following. That's good. Yeah. She, sometimes uh, she just like gets stuck and doesn't want to come. This time she did, which is nice. 
Let's try to do one really cool jump here. Oh, that was kind of slow, but still, we're it's cool. Another thing the game is very generous with is Farah's um, updating Farah's position. For example, in this room or in this cave-like structure, um, you're supposed to help Farah or let Farah into a crack so she can traverse this area because um, she can do the platforming, right? However, the game is like, just there she is. I don't care. Stay just there. Take her. <laughs> also, that diagonal jump is a bit harder than it looks, so I'm really glad I got there it. You yeah. Are. Good. What? <laughs> what do you mean, what? We have to fight. Have to I, I didn't see them yet, sorry. Right below you. <laughs> what is she talking about? Oh. oh. <laughs> Alright. Nice. So, let's actually show a zipless thing. Look, a crack. I don't have moderators next to me, but. Oh, what? I can. Invalid. <laughs> Running valid, rip. I can like move the box and teleport with the box. Um, it's used to clip through the doors and it's useful in Zipless. Here basically. I am. It's one of the biggest glitches. Yeah, that's what you saw in the, if you remember, the, in the safe cutscene that's after the dead file. Switch. Which you can use on a box to teleport Here through doors, for, or to clip through doors, for example. <gasps> Careful! <laughs> Thank you. Wait for me. <laughs> oh. Oh. So this is, um, I think this is a technique which we haven't seen yet. Which is, it, it is kind of intuitive, but you have to think of it. So in this game, the fights come in waves, right? So it's not that enemies continuously spawn until they cap out of life or whatever but it's um, different waves of enemies so here the first wave consists of four enemies once these four enemies are retrieved we'll need to the next wave the starts spawning Look for a switch. but of course that also means I'm that if oh. wait for me that <laughs> of course that means if you kill three enemies and knock down the fourth the one smell of food still wafted from the kitchen you can Scan hours ago these tables had been filled with men Go to the Joking next in camaraderie over their evening meal. Area. Just as my father's men do back home in Saran. Because you can break the wall. And ease because they think themselves safe within the castle walls. Before the fight. No ends. enemy to fight. <laughs> Sorry oh, for interrupting. Multiple the conversations among them. in my head going on. Um, <laughs> right. Oh, uh, now we left Pharaoh behind. Uh, enemies are actually targeting her. Um, we don't really care much, but she actually needs help to me. live. And Prince, please! <laughs> I need help! <laughs> I'm trying! <laughs> Just need to get pushed by the door. So you stop dying. Uh, life done. Here, you're safe. Thank you. <laughs> Curly, you want to explain... Uh, why the door pushed us, why the door wasn't port. He doesn't know. I, no, I do. I can do this one. Yeah. All right, here we go. Yes. So the door. Yeah. Very important. Yeah. It needs to push us to the next area. Yeah. Why? Because if it doesn't, yeah. Pharaoh will die. Pharaoh will die. Yeah. Oh. So, yeah. Because? If it, if, yeah. So if, if the door <laughs> pushes you out, the game doesn't uh, register the prince as leaving the area, which is necessary for the game to say, oh, the prince is too far away, Pharaoh will die now because we left her behind. Okay. But if the door does that, like if it's, it's not active movement, so you go outside and the game's like, I've never seen this man in my life. Thanks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. it. I'm glad you could explain that because Welcome. I actually did not know that. I just knew And that I part. didn't know that you don't know that. <laughs> there are a lot of things yeah, I don't know, but I just know they work. <laughs> I'm so you glad you're here anyway. <laughs> Thank no. you. You just have to do what other people do. Yeah. Don't question it. That's how to speedrun. You just watch yes. world record, and then you give up. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> kind of, kind of, quite the turn you there. Yeah, no. It. You watch world record and you steal all the strats. That's not stealing. It's sharing. It's sharing. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, an interesting thing about that strat, so where the door pushed us out, that hasn't always been known. And the old strat was that you have to go really fast before Farah dies. And you have to do um, some of the tricks Yaka did, 
but very quickly, which makes them a lot more difficult. So oh. having this door tech is actually um, incredibly handy. It makes this run a lot, or this this part of the run a lot easier. Can Stress you, me. Can, oh, can I locked her. Me? Stress me. What? If I guess she got stuck. I hear her. I hear her. Farah, please. Oh, there oh. she is. <laughs> please, please, let me in. Why did you lock me out? <laughs> Why did you lock her out? Well, I just hope that she will somehow teleport inside. Sometimes <laughs> she... Almost like that's something the game kind of does. I'll just wait for you here then, shall I? That sounds <laughs> like you're inside the room. Let's see if you're in correct state though. Uh, we'll see. Ah, oh, there, yeah. Yeah. there you go. Yeah. That's a, a, the same thing I explained before. It's kind of a fail Come save. Again. But the game says... Um, it, just in case I messed up, as I as in the game I, uh, I'll just teleport her here to make sure the player doesn't get um, uh, punished for something they didn't do. Uh, yeah, which is great because we can use it. Be fair behind. We don't care about her apparently. I just teleported you inside the room. Also, oh, let's watch. Also, you can read some donations if you want. World's strongest woman. Thank you very much. We have a $20 donation from Thrill House 451 uh, It doesn't have a comment, but it has gone towards the Any% percent Glitch Exhibition for Prey uh, coming up later on in the run. So uh, thank you very much. Um, just also wanted to take a, a quick few minutes to uh, let you guys know um, we are under a hundred dollars away from that ten thousand milestone so thank you so much for that um we are raising money for uh alzheimer fondant um a fantastic alzheimer's charity um and all revenue generated during this event will go to alzheimer fondant so this doesn't just include the donations but also any uh twitch subs uh, subscriptions or gift subs uh cheers and uh, esa merch and uh any donations to the charity are eligible for a number of prizes. Um, you can check them out at prizes.esamarathon.com. Um, the minimum donation amounts will be listed on there, but these are cumulative totals. So for instance, to be in with the running to win a PlayStation 5, for instance, um, you need to donate $100, but that is cumulative over the course of the marathon. You don't need to donate it all in one go. Um, but uh, yes, links are um, uh, available on the page. Thanks very much. If you can fit under this gate, I'll really be impressed. Oh, I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> I knew well, that hole was there. I just wanted to see if you know. Oh. Yeah. Roll too early. Keep running. Now we're actually approaching an uh, area where there's quite some cool movement going on. Um, first, we'll have to avoid the birds. Uh, it's the left bird, yeah, and we have to go to the right side. You can actually kind of tell which bird is trying to attack you. Okay. The bird is like off the target for you. Now bird will look at us for a bit, see if we're okay, and then fly away, hopefully. Well, okay, <laughs> then don't go away, I guess. Feels like the same bird as last time. Oh, excuse me, game. That's not the plan. Switch is broken. Try that again. Very funny. Come on. Right. What? Okay, okay. I'm ready. Come on, open the gate. We get in there. Oh, finally. Thank you. Very nice. Voila. We're just. Well, I don't. It still saves a bit of time, but. Yeah, Not as much as we would like. Yeah. I'm There's up here! I am. Uh, you're supposed to wall <laughs> jump below. between the walls There's a great to open get balcony. downwards. Come um, on, I'll show you. And that does Easy take a lot of time. So taking this alternative route, um, which is pretty direct and um, pretty quick, Stay there. saves I'll come down to you. like 10 seconds. And it oh, looks pretty uh. cool. I'm also going to skip another cutscene. <laughs> Allegedly, a cutscene. If you just want to show off your athletic skills, we'll never know. And by doing this, 
Because he is uh, loading the next area. And now we're gonna do really cool parkour. It's too far. I can't jump into it. Skipping this I entire know area. This way not? it leads to the baths. Do you think you can find your way there? Of course. Finding my way to the baths from here should be easy. Good. I'll meet you there. And that was the whole area. I'll just ask the um. first sign creature I run into. Could you direct me to the baths, please? Well, thank you. Don't mention it. I used to be a bat to them back when I was alive. You okay there, Yaka? I'll meet you at the bath. Guess not. Inner monologue. <laughs> around is if I were a servant. Down. It's my own fault. With women, you need to show them you're in charge right from the start, or they walk all over you. I've been too indulgent. Probably because I felt sorry for her. Well, it stops now. From now on, she'll have to toe the line. That is, assuming I can find her. But the assertive attitude. Oh, wow. have you been waiting here all this time? I didn't realize you meant these baths. I went to the other baths, clear across the other side of the city. I had a lovely wash and a rub with fragrant oils. Too bad you weren't there. Stop. Why did you jump from so far away? Yes. Oh, now I have only one rewind. Uh. I don't like this. Right, so this, to me personally, this area is a fantastic showcase of why NMZ is really cool to run and to watch um, because the possibilities you have with the movement in this game um, to take very like very small shortcuts but they are they feel cool to do and they look very cool that whole area we did, we did like nothing as intended descending that first half of the caves um, and like every jump on its own is like a second two or three maybe don't break the pot, don't. Oh. I would go. And he broke the pot. Um, I got your razor. Right, but <laughs> cumulative, like over the course of the whole caves thing, um, it, it it saves a lot of time. So it's NMG, as Yaka said in the beginning, it's a whole lot about movement and optimizing the small things, running small skips. Um, on top of the big ones, like the area before we went into the cave, we just walk around the whole area. Also, the reason I broke that pot is not because it's quicker or anything, but just because a certain Frenchman is just so aggressive if I don't break it. Yeah. I don't know why. If you it don't break it, you have to fear for your life, usually. Looking at him. Yeah, yeah. Menacing stare. Yeah. <laughs> thumbs up. Is the good way or bad way? Oh, thumbs down. Thumbs up, two thumbs down. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Like here, another example of a small skip. Yeah, that's actually pretty tough. Yeah, it, sure. Imagine attempting this with like zero cents. <laughs> yeah. Oops, if I uh, failed. <laughs> gotta have the guts to do it. Well, you know, that's a world record holder mindset. That's the mentality you need. No oh, thank God. I can breathe again. Oh, I can retry if I fail. <laughs> I'll oh, please. Um, also, one thing we probably didn't mention is that rolling and jumping is binded to the same button. So um, you can jump only like specific places, like when you're like next to the ledge, or where there's like nothing in front. It's kind of hard to explain, but um, that's why sometimes I'm like surprised if Prince like just jumps because I would assume he would supposed to roll, but he does something else. Yeah, they did fix that in the in uh, Forgotten Sands for sure. But they're jumping and rolling out different buttons. 99% sure. So what I was about to say is about the sand clouds. Um, if you take eight of the sand clouds, you will generate a new sand tank. In this case, it would be our fifth one. Um, uh, the problem is that for the later fighting, there will be a technique game attendant technique um, it's a very powerful attack but for that you need as many of these white half moon tanks next to the sand tanks as you have sand tanks so if you get a fifth sand tank um, we would be short we would not be able to do this technique so in this round you have to make sure to not collect too many sand clouds especially for beginners um, if you reach a certain level that you're not really in danger to do that 
it's good to keep in mind when you start out. Right. And yeah, there was another unintended. Um, very, very unintended, yeah. actually. <laughs> <laughs> Running on beams. Uh, yeah, no. Yeah. Very cool. I love how that one looks. Yeah. Yeah, so the thing with the collision, like if you're landing on the beam, like on the, on the edge of the beam, the game is like, oh, sure, that, that's ground. <laughs> Just walk here. That's intended. It is. <laughs> I mean, what does intended even mean? It's more of a, you know, it's a, more of a feeling. Suggestion. Yeah. That was intended. <laughs> this is intended. Three lies in a row. Wow. Jump. <sighs> no. <laughs> I gave up on that. <laughs> How many sands do you have? Four. Sorry. This is another... So uh, a, a lot of the areas, the, the exit is somewhat close to the start. So if you have, wait, do we get it? Do we get it? Oh, Scenic, funny. very nice. Um, what? Where's what is this? I think that pixel is the prince. Wait, he's yeah? blocking. Oh, oh no, yeah? he's blocking. Oh, ah. okay. Um, what was that? <laughs> That's something, something we're having. That's what the game always does. Is there a reason I have never seen that before? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, <didn't. laughs> no. <laughs> this game continues to surprise me. Oh, Jeez. Crazy. Yeah, a few first person at like when the when you hit the like intro into the cutscene, uh, the camera goes like that. All right. Okay. So what what I was about to say is that um, a lot of the areas, sorry, a lot of the areas in this game um, are. Designed such that the end, like the exit, is close to the, to the start, to the entrance. So if you have access to um, a wider range of glitches um, or things you can abuse in the game, uh, it's rather simple to go just from the Are start to the end. For example, oh. in this underground. Oh. <laughs> 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 I disagree with this game. I just um, want to point that out. Are you there? Yeah, for example, in the underground reservoir. Um, if uh, in, in anything am. but the no major glitches category, you can go right to the end. I, I, either via a visible ledge or via a zip. Whatever that means, not important. The point is um, that if you run the glitch categories, you can save a lot of time because of the level layout. Because the, how the game is designed, basically. Sarah, where are you? Sarah, I, I saw. Didn't you see her? <laughs> Do you have eyes? I looked away. Oh, another fight. Sarah. So I guess this is good part to Call read me. a donation. Yep. There's that. Yeah. Yeah. That absolutely. Took you so long. Uh, we have fifty dollars from Sphere. Thank you very much for your donation. Uh, the comment reads: Shout outs to the Prince of Persia crew, always with the comfiest of runs. Yeah. Thank you very much. So uh, in this fight, um, or this fight is another instance of a fight where waves happen. There will be four waves of enemies. Uh, also, you're fighting at slopes, so funny things can happen. Um, That's not like a bunny. <laughs> right, the, the thing is that we cannot skip this fight in NMD. Oh. We cannot skip this fight in NMD because um, the um, exit is blocked by a door, and we need Ferrer to crawl through a track. So the only way for us to proceed is to end the fight, Ferrer opens the door, and we move on. In every other category, tip through the door or the castle entirely. But here we can see more of the very cool fighting. Oh. Interesting. That was interesting indeed. <laughs> Is that the third? No, wait, no, that was the second. That was the second one, yeah. Oh, yeah, right. I think um, another very subtle thing, but uh, I think important to mention. The way the blue tanks work, uh, work, you saw that there maybe, we we'll looked at it by chance. Um, for every 16 enemies, one of the moon tanks gets built up. You, you see it's like uh, next to the fourth sand tank there, in the top left. Um, 
there's a new moon tank being generated. As soon as 16 enemies die, you get a new access to a new moon tank. And, that's the important part, all of the previous moon tanks get refilled. So what you want to do is use up the previous moon tanks for like slow-mo attacks or freezing the enemies or whatever. Um, if you're one short of getting the new one, because once you retrieve that 16th enemy, um, you will get new uh, new freeze uh, freeze tanks anyway. So that that kind of factors into the routing when it comes to the the fighting and how many enemies you kill and everything. Oh, very nice. nice. We're setting up a skip here. Oh, okay, fine, right, fine. Hopefully, yeah. We'll see. Yeah. yeah, we got it. Also, I wonder how we could do this room quicker. Prince, are you okay? Oh, oh. <laughs> that exists. Now. That could have saved you like two and a half minutes. <laughs> if only you would have known about that earlier. So, Can I uh, interrupt with a quick uh, announcement? Oh, sure. We have just reached ten thousand dollars. There's a all thanks to a ninety-one dollar donation from username Niels again. And the comment says, "You know what? Let's just get to ten k." Which I say, "No, let's keep going. We want to get a hundred k." But thank you so much for uh, for that donation. That's uh, got us ten percent of the way there. Very kind, Jen. Thank you. So, uh, in the cutscene, you, or rather in the clip that we recorded separately, uh, you saw that Prince could just like sort of teleport. It's not teleport, but like move rather like freely. The, yeah, through, freely. Yeah. Uh, that's called uh, zip. And we have a special category just for it. It's called standard. Uh, the glitch is so OP that we don't really need to use anything else besides that for the majority of the run. Yes, so it has a separate category. Yeah, but then there's there's so much else to this game which makes uh, for interesting skips. That um, we also have a zipless category, so everything aside from this very OP zip glitch is allowed. And some of the earlier safe of these safe cutscene clips you saw were from uh, from the zipless runs, like where you teleport with a box or you walk on invisible ledges. Like it's there's a there's a ton of very creative skips and very creative uses for these um, for, for, for the glitches basically also the reason i didn't kill the last enemy is because just like with a lot of fighting in this game there are multiple waves and we don't okay. want to kill the last enemy yeah so we don't want to trigger the next wave <laughs> can you come and i guess huh. so. because we don't have to um, finish this fight to progress we just want to do as little as necessary um, Yet so many that we can still um, do whatever we have to do in this room, really. Um, if we wouldn't fight the enemies at all, hypothetically, the prince would always focus on the enemies when fighting. So the, the breakable wall, if you're standing right next to it, and even if you walk against it, as soon as there's an enemy in range, the prince will attack the enemy. Um, so you have to make sure that the enemies are far, away, far enough away from you. And that's, yeah, that's what Yaka did. Exactly that. Oh, don't grab the ladder, ladder. please. And for downside, the enemy will follow us now, so we have to get... We don't have to get rid of it technically, but it's incredibly inconvenient if you want to um, move around objects. With you, so. <gasps> no! No, no, no. That was so shocked. Yeah. So we took the checkpoint and died, and that kind of reset the combat. The one enemy is still down there. It's not the fight that resets, it's just the, um, the aggression. Where is that glow coming from? It's actually a good question. Um, the, um, the, the, the enemy is not aggressive anymore. It will be once we get down there again, but for now we can um, solve the rest of this room in peace. Listen to this. Okay. Of what use is reason against the power of love? Love is life. So if you want to live, die in love. Die in love if you want to stay alive. What's that supposed to mean? I thought you'd like it. If you want to be useful, try finding a book that'll tell us how to get out of here. This isn't that kind of game. 
Game. She thinks this is a game. <laughs> so good. Anyway. <laughs> oh. That was a skip, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Not very easy, so <laughs> great job on that. Yeah, you use the... Um, it's another instance of using torpedo to get down to unattended places. We did so in the very beginning, like 10 minutes into the run, where we landed on the door frame. Here we did it to land on the beam. Um, did it off the mirror. You can torpedo off any type of wall. And the, the mirror counts as a wall, luckily for us. And you can do it again to go right to the end. Yeah. And we were actually quite lucky, because Farah, um, well, she likes to just jump in the trap. Which is, the trap is in Hall of Learning, which is kind of like library, for some reason. Yeah. And Farah just likes to jump in. Yeah, she likes, follows us. Exactly, yeah, we do things unintentionally and she wants to go after us, because yeah. that's what her script tells her to. Um, you sadly, opened the gate! We know. Sadly, there are spikes in the way, it's kind of inconvenient. And here the game Help. says... Isn't there a fight that's supposed to... Yeah, I think there's a fight. Let's have that fight go on. Uh, As you hear. Uh, about these Twitch TOS, by the way? <laughs> Might have to read up on them. <laughs> Another sword upgrade. What does it do? It must be so powerful. Are oh, you not going for the corner? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry? Hmm? What? I just want to ask, isn't that sword upgrade so powerful? Like, it looked so strong. Yeah, it was a, it's a very large sword. Yeah. Come on! Um, it must be hitting different, I guess. <laughs> 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 That's where you're going with this. That's crazy. Oh. I kind of didn't want to do it, but... Uh, yes. <laughs> he couldn't I help himself. It. This guy cannot help himself from saying that. <laughs> anyway, Farah kind of uh, not with us. Could that become a problem, maybe? Mm. Good question. Yeah, so what you did not do in that previous area, certain trick. Wait. I don't... W maybe you didn't even see something yet. Oh. Okay. Or did he... Uh, there's a lot know. of surprises for me in this, yeah. by the way. Yeah. It's ma uh, mainly these two beautiful gentlemen, Jaka and Toka, worked on this. Um, and they put a few things in that they didn't tell me about, so... I've been seeing them live with you guys. It's been great. So here I'll use Mega Fist uh, to try finish fight a bit quicker. Hopefully I don't have my accident soft block. These are even soft block. But... Teleport. Yeah. It can be very finicky there, and um, if Jack is not careful, if he attacks an enemy in the wrong way, and then Mega Freeze, he can just fall off. And stuck down at the bottom of this chasm. Yeah, because uh, during Mega Freeze, fall damage is not calculated. So if you, if you target an enemy close to the left, the prince falls down, the game doesn't count it as falling, so you're just stuck at the bottom, can't do anything. Can you die without glitches? There should okay. be a way to All make right. this thing go up. Let's see, see if you can find a switch. The next what flash. makes you think? I guess there's something coming. Oh, we'll see. Oh no, did I not follow you? Do you have to take the save and die now to reset my position because I'm all the way back in the Hall of Learning? Oh, I'm sorry, Prince. Done. So that's what we I'll have to do. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> They're actually sabotaging your run. <laughs> Crazy. Um, yeah. yeah. We're just so <laughs> helpful. We're seeing the reality of I it now. One. Shall I pull it? That, that was not a, yet. Uh, that was great. Wait till I'm on the <laughs> platform. Oh, so this area we're supposed to do it a bit differently, but we can just go there, and the voice lines will actually be played backward here. Are you on the platform I like how I'm yet? Pointing to monitor, not but yet. <laughs> Wait till I'm on Sorry. the platform. We <laughs> never. <laughs> He's so excited about going up. <laughs> here I come. <laughs> Wait. Don't you need to open the gate? No. no. Yes. Peace out. And there we go. That was to load the next area, correct? Yeah. So I jumped down there. The gate's open. 
So maybe we should talk talk about this Hall of Learning thing. So there is a strat to make uh, Farah follow you. Um, we kind of set it up to not do that, cause come on, funny. But uh, in, in, in principle, you, you can do that, and then you don't Look have to take the save and die. Wait, let's see where the score is. Taking the save and dying takes All right. about 20 seconds. Crack. Um, feels like a lot less. Than 20 seconds is quite a lot of time. I'm up here. Try pulling that lever. I really enjoy all the grunts, like vocalizations that you do, Koka. Very good. A lot of. I oh, thank you. Uh, as do you well think as I can jump good example. Go on, try. I mean, What's when we said we dub everything, we dub everything. There you go. Literally everything. Yeah. Even lines that don't even appear in the game. Yeah. Like whatever. <laughs> just. When I figured out you guys were doing that, like, all right, this is a shame. Uh -oh. I'll meet you on so the other side of that else. gate. Yeah. Careful! You be careful. actually frame perfect skip, cutscene skip here. We call it frame perfect lever. Uh, but, well, it rarely happens somehow. Yeah. Uh, so, so, sorry. So, if you pull out the lever um, almost fully, but like just short of it, the, the yeah, game yeah. will. Um, I can't open the gate. The game will realize, uh, or the game will say, oh, the door should open. But it's um, not fully out, so this cutscene won't play. The game shows you, oh, the doors open now and the traps start. So, but but as Yaka said, it's incredibly precise. Oh, it's Okay, try that again. Yeah. So what Yaka's doing now is big palm tree. Um, so this getting this wall jump on this palm tree can save us a lot of time in this courtyard. And yes, yes, yes. thank yeah. the game. Yeah, that is very hard, yeah. and it saves a lot of time. Yeah, yeah, it does. Super finicky, super annoying. Because yeah. enemies, if enemy is like right next to you, the camera is just doesn't work. Yeah. Because yeah. maybe we didn't mention this, but the worst enemy besides Farah is also <laughs> camera. Pardon? I could marry her. After all, she's a Makarada's daughter. But still, bloody yeah. well. Besides, camera loves to just reset, flip around, flip backwards, so flip upside down, maybe. Right. Never happened to me, but there's yeah. definitely. So again, to emphasize, emphasize uh, uh, the thing with a lot of the skips in NMG is not that they're difficult per se if you have a lot of time to set them up. Um, it is because you're under pressure, under on the one end, under time pressure, on the other end, often under pressure from the enemies because they will gang up on you and uh, change your position or whatever they do. So that's mainly where a lot of these skips, for example, the two palm tree skips Look, this run are difficult. Yeah, getting the trick for me. <laughs> getting the trick is one thing, but getting it, setting it up quickly is totally different. Thanks for blocking me, enemies. Yeah, they've been doing that to me too recently. Oh, I can't even attend the <laughs> wall run. Thing. They have the sixth sense to block me. Time for my favorite line at the just the right time. I'm to Fountain Prison. There's a staircase. I'll You're taking a photo. Be careful Smile. on the stairs. <laughs> Be careful on the <laughs> stairs. <laughs> it's so awkward uh, to do screams. Yeah, we I did know. we gave the screams are all. Or you gave I mean, them. I mean I actually not sure about you guys. I don't care about what my neighbors thought. <laughs> well, what are y you had some like real screams, like well, uh, the loud pheromones, I guess. Oh, yeah. In a way worse. In there are also worse. some clips that are not included. Yeah. That you did for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> prison. In my father's palace was a prison much like this. I had never set foot inside. Now here I was. Myself a prisoner, seeking an escape. So, keep your shirt on, live? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so here we'll skip one floor. Because, why not, actually? Yeah. <laughs> if we can, let's just do it. Yeah. So, first we'll jump That's here. That's not the skip yet. Sk That's a skip, but not the skip. Yeah, we just wall run That's like that. That's skip. Get to the pole How there. do you get that? <laughs> Sorry. I never get momentum on that bar. <laughs> Magic touch. I don't know. 
good, good. I mean, sorry. Uh, you just have to put more me? practice in. Yeah. I'm being trash talked live. I don't like this. <laughs> oh, imagine I'm American. You, you <laughs> yeah, imagine flying <laughs> over a whole ocean just to get bullied in Sweden. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> how it's feeling right now. <laughs> that is how it's feeling. That's all. Okay. Coming up, another yeah. skip. Is it no major glitch? It's actually not a glitch at all. It's a yeah. skip, sorry. Yeah, it's skip. It actually is. Skip. It is. If I do it. It is. Uh, it's for so trigger Mega Freeze on this button and hit enemy as far as you can away and it will trigger the door to stay open. Yeah. Because normally we would have to put box on the button to stay uh, for doors to stay open. Yeah. But, but so you use the Mega Freeze to you kind of leave the um, the button so quickly that the game doesn't realize you're not on the button anymore. The first time all the game cares, you're still on the button, range. so the door's still open. Closing you can just leave. Touch. Where were the but man was traded had when you hit an enemy a little too close, to extract the answer it, key yeah, it notices that you yeah, exactly. The, the point is not that you leave the button, but you leave a certain area around the button. The same fate yeah. as their victims, guards and prisoners. You can get unlucky if the enemies around the you. This was very good enemy positioning. Please don't hit me, please don't hit me. Why would they? These are new yellow bats to me. Yeah. Alright. We are lucky. That was good, yeah. So good. bats in this game can be... Or, well, they are actually the worst enemy, in my opinion. <laughs> they can kill runs. Hopefully they don't kill this run. Especially don't, if you don't fight them. You could just fight them and everything would be fine. Yeah, but I would lose time. Oh, I would lose time. <laughs> I'd rather reset, <laughs> then lose those two seconds or help. Yeah. So who's pressing W now? I'll do it. Go right. So right now I'm pressing W on the keyboard, reason being, as soon as the prince comes up out of this uh, ladder, we want him to start going immediately straight. Reason being, we can maybe get no aggro on these enemies. Oh, and we didn't get it. Some is, in some cases we can get no aggro, so enemies are not around here yeah. and make this area way more pleasant. But yeah. not this time. Well, way less unpleasant, I guess. <laughs> it's better. Way more pleasant, yes. Yeah. They don't target you for a while, and it's very helpful. But why does that work? Does anyone know? Do we know? It just does? Well, the, the way I thought about it is that the game doesn't register you moving because you're like you're holding the W key, so for all the game cares, um, Ooh, this you're, you're like keeping the movement you had in the, from the previous area. Okay. Um, that's, I mean, that's, I, I don't know why it works. Um, yeah. If I knew, I would know why it doesn't work consistently. <laughs> but that's that's at least the hypothesis I came up with. Yeah, you've been surprising me on how little I know about how all these tricks work. You've been well, this is teaching teaching session. I, I love this. Yeah. This is awesome. Yeah. I've been running this game for like two years. Looking forward to your NMG run improvements after this. <laughs> Again, let's look which bird will attack us. It's the right one. Left, left. Nice. Looks good. We will pick up the sand, uh, mainly so we can use Mega Freeze ability immediately in elevator. And to kind of wait for Farah, because if she doesn't follow, uh, we can soft lock, I yeah. believe. So, this is, I believe, Be careful. for most casual. Oh, Players, correct, the most you know? unfun fight. Because not that they would die, but Farah tends to just die. give up. Yeah. And what's even worse is a lot of people will go next to Farah and like try to protect her, but that's actually like that's worse. the problem. Yeah, that's like. the problem. Get away from her. <laughs> there is friendly fire in this game. Swing around like mad. Yeah. Do more damage. Also enemies attacking you, then attack also Farah. Yeah. yeah. And these are the largest enemies, or they include the largest enemies. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. Okay. So we, so we got slowed down a little bit on that guy, but fine. It's still a very effective Mega Freeze deck. Yeah. Both enemies ish. Pretty good. Yeah. It's always good to knock down a couple at the end. Yeah. Free retreats. So this is the thing Yaku was talking about. We try to keep our camera away from Farah. Because um, uh, uh, as long as the enemies haven't targeted her yet, if she's not on camera, for all the enemies care, she doesn't exist. Um, it's very good. But as soon as she exists, um, they will attack her, and she only has six HP. Uh -oh. 
and you also Ooh. have to easy. Easy job. And you also have to fight yourself, right? You wanna protect her, Help. they attack you and But luckily, especially in this category, we can do two mega pieces. So we only have to fight the eight enemies normally. Out of the thirty in total I think it is. Yes. Oh, oh. I could have. The little blocks, yeah. Okay. If only Pharah help. <laughs> yeah, just stand there. Thanks. It's looking Doing pretty. Doing best. Come on. Oh, of course, Pharah defender. Over there. Wonder why. So. Who knows? There's actually a reason why I'm standing up there and like not next to the button where we sh we're supposed to war run. It's because wall run sometimes just does not work there. Yeah, that wall is very weird, and that's not high FPS behavior. Like, it's known that the game behaves incredibly weirdly above 60 FPS. This is not one of these instances. This is just geometry stuff. It stopped. Oh, it's really? It's just like poor level design, I guess. Uh, yeah. It just Come becomes on. very hard to Hurry. wall run up there, <laughs> fail it multiple times. I have to sit more comfortably. Yeah. Tiawadas There's a big cutscene coming up. I, I can feel enjoy it. it. Feel it? How? I can't explain it. How can you like? How can you feel it but not explain it? What? What? Are you in tune with yourself, feeling. friends? <laughs> Just feeling. Are you Zen or? <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, another small skip here. <gasps> Look out! Casually, you have to go around the room twice, but we're smart. We only have to do it once. Like, well, one of these small things, if we honestly pointed out every of these instances, um, we wouldn't be saying anything else. So. Oh. Yeah, let's relax for a bit and listen to this uh, cutscene, shall we? Mm. Uh. Two minutes of cutscene. Important cutscene. Horrible. A tomb. You were there. The dagger was in your hand. Why did you hesitate? You think you're cleverer than everybody, but you're just like the rest of them. <coughs> Those soldiers, all they can do is fight. The sword. Why did I trust you? <laughs> Why didn't you trust me? <laughs> ah. Sorry. Where are you? I'm right here. Hold my hand. Don't let go. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure if you saw it on camera. I didn't mean what I just said. No, you're right. All that's happened is my doing. I want an honor and glory. I brought this on myself. You are brave and good. If this tomb is to be ours, at least the dagger will be buried with us. And we are together. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. What is it? Nothing. You're trembling. I just don't like closed spaces. There must be some way out of here. When I was small, my mother taught me a secret word. She said that when I was afraid, all I had to do was speak that word, and a magic door would open. I've never told that to anybody. I can see why. It's the most childish thing I've ever heard of. What was the word? Kakulukia. Kakulukia. You did that. Didn't you? Vera? Oh. No, no, don't do oh, that. Sorry. Okay. I can do without. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So, so uh, what is happening right now is, for some reason, Yaka has the left side of the controller and yeah. Toka has the right. Let's go around. So Toka is controlling the camera and Yaka is doing movement. Yeah. They have to be totally in sync for this to work. Yeah. I think yeah. ours then. Oh. 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 All right. Yeah. yeah. This is good. Yeah. The stairs go on forever. Literally. So we'll be here a while. Of 
forget to roll into cutscene. <laughs> Two players, four hands. Nah, oh, oh, oh. there's the end. There's the <laughs> Your end. button layout is fucked. <laughs> okay. So, this is the moment I've been waiting for. I am the only person in the community who does this Where puzzle correctly you? using alternative camera view so you can count. So if everybody can count with me, I'm going to say 4731495. So four. Come on, let's hear it. Thank you. Oh, I love it. And the numbers being the doors that you have to roll into counting from clockwise. Seven. I love audience interaction. Three. <laughs> Eraser's but booing me? Where are One. you? One! I don't see you. Yeah. We have to take a look at that guy later. And just three doors in this what one? The? It'll be four! Oh, this is getting ridiculous. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, no, that was Vera? intended. No, you're doing well. <laughs> yeah. Good. Great. Let's, let's, let's get going up. Tomorrow. Two more. Then this one is nine. Nine! Yes! So and last one, Can five. Farah. Oh, you people are amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> I had to do it. Yaka's gonna kill me later. And so was Eraser, but oh, that felt so good. Everyone thinks I'm so stupid for doing it that way. It was the way I learned it. <laughs> was it worth traversing the Atlantic just for that? <laughs> yes. Okay, that's, no, I just wanted to make sure. Well, I guess thanks for wasting 10 seconds. And thanks, oh, audience. I appreciate no. that <laughs> interaction. All right. Let's pick the last word up. Or will we yeah. pick it up? Yeah, so story-wise, we just lost our weapon. Osfera betrayed us. Oh, no. I would never do that. Rest oh. <laughs> but um, we don't have any weapons right now. Technically, we do. We just can't oh, draw no. the weapons, and they're invisible. But they... If we were to hold them by means of some glitch, which is possible, we could use them right now. Um, however, we have to um, get the last sword. That's, no, the last sword is there. There, you're Where going, are you going away from it. Oh, oh I was you there. You don't have a sword now. How will you fight without a sword? Wait, Interesting question. I did see something on his back. Was it there? there? Uh, oh. Oh yeah, I think yeah, there is a sword yeah. on his back. Yeah, yeah that's the sword Pharaoh stole. Um, Why is it that? Whoops. Now? To be fair, we actually cannot fight right now because we don't have the dagger. And if you don't retrieve enemies, they will just respawn infinitely. And the last sword would just slash them instantly. Just they disappear forever for whatever reason. Um, the good thing is we don't have to fight. We can just leave. Bye. More bats. Luckily, those are not annoying. Yeah. Thankfully, you can just do that cool jump and avoid them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. And now we have checkpoint. Now I can die. <laughs> okay. So you can try the rubble boost. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not hype anything up because the chances of hitting them. I mean, usually it please doesn't work because you can't really control it. Um, it relies on auto target and that's out of your control. Yeah. yeah. Unlock that. Oh, that's great. So. Yeah, this next area is all done with a single checkpoint being before the bridge that just broke. Um, so it, it can be a little intense, but we're going to give Yaka some silence. I think this is in the middle. Let's just uh, go. That's too far left. Oh, okay. Okay, as long as it works. Okay. Yes. Good. Okay. Got a little bit more to do. Yeah. yeah. That was good. Very good. Not out of the woods yet. Yeah. But uh, basi I basically. I but basically. Yeah. Yeah, let land on a very specific spot there, which um, for some reason has collision, and you can wall jump there, and uh, just war on to skip a whole lot. Um, in Zipless, just as an example, you can use a glitch to jump off this fence thing down there, but diagonally. Um, here we had to get a bit more creative. It's a bit more difficult, but um, a skip idea is the same. And it's even without glitches. Pretty cool. I'm going to be slightly nervous here. Why would you? What's the worst that could happen? 
I've had to repeat the past two minutes. Now we're safe. Safe. Let's check right. one. Oh. <laughs> That's just casual gameplay, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Skip here. <laughs> but, uh, but of course, because Farah took our dagger, um, we cannot rewind anymore, which for the player is a, is a rather weird experience to play these, five, th these last, like, what, a four casual hours um, with the core ability, the core mechanic to rewind your mistakes, and suddenly you can't anymore. So it, um, this, this is a challenging area, not because of the platforming itself, but because of the lack of rewind. Um, usually, it's also pretty intense in the speedrun. It can be. <laughs> well, let's try and okay. pick it something. Just work, please. It's for the marathon. Oh. Come on. All right, 50, one more 50 time. 50 so it takes two tries usually. That's how math works. Ah, uh, unlucky. Yeah. Doesn't work the first time. Typically doesn't work. Yeah. Oh. After that. It works 50% of the time, none of the time, so. <laughs> this is the most confusing skip. <laughs> yeah, what can happen there is that you, um, because you do this, um, like, swing and jump off the of the swing pole so close to the wall that you're the prince is interacting with some of this collision of what fell out of the wall um whatever's covering it is just texture you can land in there um but the actual mechanics behind when it works and when it doesn't is a mystery to us oh. will stay Ooh. that way forever most likely unless jordan mcnor educates us or gives the source code to us i don't know open letter Maybe. Jordan, if you're out there, <laughs> <laughs> how about we say $500 donation goal? Send us the game code. <laughs> Greetings to. Oh, where is it? Montpellier? I don't even know. Montpellier, yeah. Anyway, we are approaching the last fight. Um, it's probably. But how, how will you fight enemies with this sword? The sword doesn't kill enemies, you don't have the dagger. So there's no way you can fight. Imagine if game just thought that we have the last word. Oh, I mean as a fail save? That's crazy. <laughs> what sword does she have? Duplicate. Oh. We have the final sword. Yeah, we just traded. <laughs> Why are you laughing? This is so intense, guys. Come on. Look at that realistic blood. That's so funny. That's so funny. Pardon? I wish we could use the previous voice lines. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I, so I like them. Yeah, so she's a carpet now. Literally, she, literally flat. she literally is. If you go down there, she's a 2D texture. <laughs> fun fact for you people. Um. Get that NFT or whatever. <laughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> fighting. Okay. Here we see the last oh. sword. Oh, I was yeah. actually in a good fight, but now it's bad. No, so no stress on this fight. What Just do you mean no stress? Yeah, no stress. Just a ton of these... The largest enemies and most deadly enemy in the game over and over. Yeah, so what the sword does, as you see, it disintegrates their molecular structure and they d that's why they don't respawn or whatever. And uh, that's what we were, ha what we were supposed to have for the last five minutes or so. Um, but we didn't. One thing that can happen here, which is why you should Unless you're experienced, you should stay away from the hole. Is that um, if you do torpedo attacks, you will you will target some enemy that's close to you. Doesn't mean you will hit them, but uh, you'll target them at least. And if you fight close to the hole, what can happen is that you torpedo down the hole, and you don't have sand because the dagger Farah gives you is empty. Unless this happens and uh, an enemy knocks down another one, you get that sand. But um, that nice. If, if you fall down the hole, you just die, and you have to restart. That was the last fight. Yeah. Or well. Uh, what? Oh. We could just oh. skip it. 
So that's, that's also an elevator. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, that's a thing time. we can do in Zipless. Really it's called damage boost. Um, you basically hit Farah, I think, oh, like Lord, four times. Mind. And she does like 360, like, until the and then aims at us, and we like try to climb, I could not like uh, a yeah. ledge. Yeah, like yeah. a ledge, and we slow more time, and then we just get boosted in the air. Yeah, like the g getting damaged uh, leads to this climbing up the the ledge, to it leads to that being amplified kind of, and the slow mo amplifies it even more, so you get up all the way to the top. I will handle this intruder. Oh, will you, Coley? Thank you. Team yes, uh, Yaka asked me to voice the vizier, and I cannot say no. What sorcery is this? Stop this at once! My lady, he came here to abduct you. Surely you do not believe him. So this is the first appearance of the vizier in this he fight. He will betray you. He appears in a few movie cutscenes, which we skip in this movie. Oh, in the game, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm so fine, thanks. If you download the full dub once it's made available, How in inventive. a few days Do maybe, not forget. Um, he is a person. and you play through it, watch all the cutscenes, you will hear Your a lot more. Your exertions are most amusing. Early fantastic performance. And everybody else is fantastic. Yeah. Huh. So who else we got? brought before my father, he will judge. Or will be. So there's, uh, right, so there's 17 Razor 7 who voiced the loud guard. Uh, awesome manner, I want to say. Do you disobey? I've taken orders long enough from a senile fool and a sniveling brat. Cody, not taking it anymore. Uh, I'm gonna take it. <laughs> right, and there are also <laughs> Epic Dude Guy and Grisberg <laughs> voice characters who only appear <coughs> in. Cody, <Sorry>, alright. <laughs> Careful. Uh, Hope it's not a deadly don't virus. Don't yourself. <laughs> uh, anyway, who only appear in movie cuts. Sadly, didn't get to hear them. Like, they all did an amazing job, honestly. Yeah. So, this is so much very fun. much worth a playthrough, I think, casually. Or speedruns. It's allowed for speedruns for all we care. Oh, we're deciding that now? Yeah. Hey, all right. I as the super mod, and like, whatever. All right. <laughs> well, you F heard fun. it here first, because yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. I'm going to start running it then. Okay. Can I just hit this? Are you gonna do like the ultimate attack at the end? Oh. Come on. We're waiting. You were threatening us quite, you know. I can't bring myself oh, to do okay. it. Well, okay. I don't know. And time. time. <laughs> that was great. Yeah. That's still the final movie cutscene. Oh, yeah. For all of us to enjoy and then. Uh, We'll move on to the next run. I died. I hope we have this morning. Then it's true. He was a traitor. Take this. Return it to your father's treasure vault. Guard it well. I owe you thanks. But why did you invent such a fantastic story? Do you think me a child that I would believe such nonsense? Whoa. Whoa! I do not consent. <laughs> <laughs> I said I owe you thanks. You presume too much. Well, I guess let me rewind then. A little like abuse of power of the and dagger. Such a fantastic <laughs> story. Do you think me a child that I would believe such nonsense? You're right. It was just a story. Wait. I don't even know your name. Just call me Kakulukia. Well, beautiful. That's it. We have like five seconds of custom uh, credits to again shout at everybody who worked on this. Most importantly, Yaka is the prince. I guess I voiced a girl. Uh, Curly is the vizier. Uh, King Sharaman. And, epic du uh, and the Sultan, there's an epic dude guy in the movie cuts, and, and the Razor also took part in this. Anyway, uh, thanks a lot for having us. Thank
Thanks no. for having us. Yes. Looking forward to the next run. Yep. Thanks very much. See you guys after intermission. Yeah.